Is it salty or is it salty? Like, hello. Hello, camera. Um, like, I speak French and I'm still not sure if it's saute or salt. I think it's saute. Someone's about to, like, comment on this and be like, Sophie, you're a moron. Of course it's saute. <laughs> Hello. Hello, it's Sophie and welcome again to Sophieco. It is Halloween, which is my favourite time of year um, because I really love being able to get dressed up. Also, my personal style kind of takes a lot of influence from like gothic style. So for me to get to kind of <laughs> embrace my inner goth is just the best thing. As I'm looking in the camera, like I thought my parting was even my parting is definitely not even so i'm very clearly trying to emulate wednesday adams here this is a lot more difficult nowadays because i my hair is not dyed black like it used to be um undoubtedly i will end up dyeing my hair black again at some point because i don't know what it is about my brain but my brain after like a couple of years of not having black hair just goes you should really have black hair again that'd be a really good thing to do have black hair again so you know that'll probably happen and then i'll be able to rock wednesday adams a lot better than i'm doing right now now i know a lot of people criticize halloween as being a really really wasteful um part of the year um obviously there's a lot of plastic waste created by all the sweets that are given out and there's a lot of decorations that are sold in the shops that come in lots, lots of plastic packaging and this was a thing that I didn't realise because I've always been the kind of person that when I had Halloween decorations, I would keep them for years and years and years. And apparently some people just throw them out after one year and that's another really huge source of plastic waste at Halloween. I wasn't aware that people did that. Maybe that's just <laughs> my household growing up. Um, but yeah, if you have Halloween decorations, don't throw them out because they will be good for years and years to come. But the main point of today's video is pumpkins, yay! Pumpkins are the traditional part of Halloween that you would carve out to create jack-o'-lanterns. I think that was supposed to be me carving out a pumpkin, but, and I know that I have been guilty of this, no judgement please, I'm sure a lot of you guys have too, um, is when I used to carve pumpkins for Halloween, I would just then throw the pumpkin out which for me is kind of a huge thing because even before I really knew about like zero waste and trying to reduce like emissions and everything I was really anti-food waste but yeah I would just throw out an entire pumpkin every year <laughs> either way what I'm gonna do this year is I'm gonna take this pumpkin and I'm gonna try and make pumpkin soup with it because apparently over 18,000 tons of pumpkins are thrown away at Halloween which is insane so I feel like pumpkin soup is a fairly easy recipe I feel like I can't really go wrong with it um but we're gonna give it a shot and we'll see how it goes this is really terrible lighting in here I might get some lighting for the kitchen if I'm gonna do more things in the kitchen so sorry guys um so I'm gonna start making my pumpkin soup I should just mention that the recipe I'm using is from the BBC Good Food website. I will link it down below um, if you want to check it out. Um, first thing I need to do is chop these onions and I'm really hoping that I'm okay with these. Um, I sometimes have to wear goggles when I'm chopping onions um, because I have a really bad reaction to sulphur. I forgot that I have to actually like peel the onion first like that's quite an important part of of chopping an onion i am of course peeling this straight into my food waste bin um which by the looks of it might need emptying after this video it's starting it's starting in this eye um but i'm one onion down okay the onion is chopped and i've never been so happy to have finished chopping an onion um i'm gonna go wash my hands real quick and then we'll get on to the rest of the food i have just also realized that i have no idea how to cut a pumpkin I feel like this knife has got to be big enough, right? Like, it's got to be a big enough blade to cut through a pumpkin and a pumpkin has got pretty thick skin. Okay, um... Do I just go like this? I don't know. Oh, it's definitely cutting through, though. Knife is cutting through. So this is the right knife to use. I just don't know. Do I just, like, go... Um... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, it's 
cutting through nicely. Ooh! I feel like super strong right now. Like, oh, I can cut through a pumpkin. Yeah! And that is my pumpkin. Cut nicely into. I feel like I'm gonna get someone comment being like, that's not how you cut a pumpkin. And I'm just gonna be like, yeah, but it worked though, didn't it? So that's how I cut a pumpkin. So I've got to scoop out the flesh now. I wonder whether I should try keeping the pumpkin seeds and like trying to roast them or something. I might try that. I'll put it on all the plates and then I can make a decision on that later. I remember scooping out the innards when I was a kid and I thought it was like the grossest job in the world. Ooh, Ooh it's so slimy. Okay, so I've got all the pumpkin seeds along with some of the yucky fleshy bits, so I'm going to deal with that later. Um, I haven't got all of the yucky stringy bits out yet though. Um, I'm having a bit of difficulty with a spoon, so I think I'm going to go for it with a knife. Okay, that is as good as we're going to get. Um, I'm now going to try and chop the thing. I think I'm probably not going to use this knife because this will be too big for actually chopping. I'll use a smaller knife. I was sorely mistaken. I need to to cut this into smaller pieces in order to be able to chop it. These kind of look like big chunks of melon, but they're not melon. Don't eat them like a melon. I don't know whether it would be easier just to like deskin it first and then chop it. We get our first piece of pumpkin, hooray! That only took a million years. I think now that I've got the hang of what I'm doing, I'll do it a lot quicker. So the recipe that I'm using calls for one kilogram of pumpkin and I have just weighed the pumpkin that I've already got and I've already got one kilogram and I've got an another entire half of the pumpkin to go. Um, so I think I'm gonna make the soup today. I'm gonna save the rest of the pumpkin and maybe roast some pumpkin? Like, I feel like roast pumpkin with some other root veg could be a nice little accompaniment to my dinner tomorrow. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just heating up some oil in this pan. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for this to heat up and then we're going to saute the onions. Is it saute or is it saute? Like, hello, hello camera. Um, like. I speak French and I'm still not sure if it's sauté or sal- I think it's sauté. Someone's about to like comment on this and be like, Sophie you're a moron. Of course it's sauté. <laughs> Onions are going in and can you hear them sizzling? Okay so as per the recipe the onions are now soft but not coloured so I'm going to add- ooh add the pumpkin Ooh, in it goes some of it missed the pan i'm gonna pick that up in a minute Ooh, pumpkin so apparently i now have to let it just cook for about 10 minutes and stir occasionally so yes i'm gonna set myself a timer for 10 minutes so that i know that the pumpkin has been cooking for long enough it definitely is smelling quite pumpkiny um which i suppose is the most basic thing you expect from pumpkin. Okay, so the next step is to add in some vegetable stock, and I very stupidly made it in a bowl rather than a jug. Um, the reason for that was that I suddenly realised that I don't own a jug anymore. Um, because, you know, my life is so freaking organised. I'm going to try and pour this just really quickly and hope that this works. Uh, yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, she did it. Oh, no spills here. This is where I'm going to suddenly find that there's a massive spill on the other side of the pan. Um, but right now, hello camera, right now I'm happy with how that went. So apparently I now have to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. I should probably put on another timer because if not I will forget when 10 minutes is. So I'm going to put on another timer and we will be back in another 10 minutes to see how it's going. Ooh, simmery. It's getting there, yay! Okay, so next step apparently is to add some double cream. Now, that is actually not what I've got. Um, as a general rule, I'm trying to uh, reduce the amount of dairy that I eat and I've not managed to find dairy-free double cream. So I've got this, 
Alpro single soya cream. Also, something has happened to the carton in the fridge. No idea what or why, um, but I'm sure the cream inside is still absolutely fine. I've apparently got to measure out 150 milliliters of this very helpfully. Um, Alpro have put it, oh no, they have put it in milliliters as well. I was like, oh, they've only got it in grams. It's 254 grams. I don't know what that is in milliliters. No, it, it is also in milliliters in really tiny letters under that. So this is 250 mils, so I won't be using the entire thing. Just gonna go and measure that out. Okay, so when I said that I didn't have a jug, I did mean that I don't have a jug, but I have a tiny jug, which is all right for pouring up to, well, it goes up to 250 mils. So it's good for that much, but any quantities bigger than that is not gonna do for. So I don't have a, a jug that is appropriate for making stock in. There we go. Ooh, soya cream. Um, I have now got to decide what I'm going to do with the rest of the cream. So if you've got any ideas for how to use up 100 milliliters of soya cream, I would really appreciate a comment on this video <laughs> to tell me what to do. Okay, so I apparently now have to pour the soya cream in and I have to bring it to the boil. Oh, it's now slightly paler than it was before. Du -du 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 -du. Bring it to the boil. I don't know what this song is for. Bring it to the boil. So that came to the boil a lot quicker than I was expecting. Um, so I'm gonna take that off. Ooh. Also my boyfriend got home, so you might occasionally hear him in the background. Um, hello, Lyndon. Hello, background. There we go. What are you on? I'm just really happy because I thought we didn't have a hand blender um, and it turns out we have a hand blender. So I'm gonna plug this in. Ooh. We're gonna try and puree this and hopefully not get it everywhere. We're getting it everywhere! Hooray! Yay. Okay, so I think that is as smooth as we're gonna get it. Um, the recipe did say that you could use a sieve or a strainer if you wanted it to be really super silky smooth, um, but I'm not that bothered. Um, so I'm going to try a little bit of it now and see if it's any good or if I've just spent the last hour of my life making something that tastes awful. <laughs> okay, it is the moment of truth. I'm going to get a tiny bit of super. It's like a paler colour than I thought it would be like. Can I? Can I? Oh, I don't think I can get this properly on camera, but it's really pale. Linda, what does this look like? Um, it's corn. Corn. He says, corn. He says it looks like creamed corn. So just to give you an idea of what this looks like, it looks like creamed corn. Um, okay. Or baby sick. Thanks. I don't think it looks like baby sick. It does look a little bit like baby sick, but it's fine as long as it tastes good. I feel like it needs a bit more flavouring to be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe if I made it like chilli pumpkin. Do you reckon it's too late to like add in some chilli? You didn't put salt in. I thought because the bouillon was salty I thought it would be okay. You know what I think I'm just going to leave it at that because you know I reckon with like some crusty bread and butter on the bread that would be alright. Um, but lesson learned for next time salt. add salt <laughs> salt is important okay so i'm done with the soup for today i'm not going to do any more pumpkin cooking today i'm going to come back tomorrow and i'm going to try and roast the pumpkin i'm going to see about the pumpkin seeds maybe we're going to see how it goes mm, don't know um but i will see you back here tomorrow so i feel like the lighting is a lot better today um yes it is the next day um I'm gonna try cooking the pumpkin, um, both roasting the flesh and uh, roasting the seeds. We're gonna see how that goes. So I've preheated the oven. I've got my pumpkin here and the pumpkin seeds here. Um, I'm gonna do the pumpkin flesh first because I think that's gonna take longer to cook. I 
still have no idea if this is the right way to skin a pumpkin or not, but this is the way we're going with it. It's working, so we're going with it. That is a lot of pumpkin. That's actually still more pumpkin than I had imagined I was going to be there. Um, so I'm going to put some garlic salt, garlic salt all over the pumpkin because I like garlic salt, garlic salt. Also, just because I can, I'm putting rosemary on it. I've never had rosemary with pumpkin before, but I really like the taste of rosemary. So we're going with it. Um, I better get a spoon. A little spoon. We're gonna shake it all up, shake it all up. Do do do. Make sure that it's all got some oil and some seasoning. That didn't really work. Okay, so I'm gonna put a timer on for ten minutes. I'm gonna keep checking it every ten minutes because I don't actually know how long this is going to take to cook um so i'll see you again in another 10 minutes okay so they smell pretty good but they're still nowhere near done so they're going back in so actually while i'm cooking the pumpkin flesh in the oven i'm also starting on the pumpkin seeds i just knocked my camera um i have already washed them and removed the pulpy bits that i don't really want to eat because they're gross um and i also had the thought while i was doing that that if you had kids that would probably be a really good halloween activity for them because it kind of you know like when you put your hand inside the mystery box and you're like oh you've got to guess what this disgusting thing is like that would be a good one for those because it did feel really really gross and disgusting um what i'm doing now um because what i read online is that when you're roasting pumpkin seeds it's a good idea to boil them for a bit so i'm doing that right now sorry not boil them simmer them um so they are coming along just nicely so it's been 30 minutes and the pumpkin seems to be very nearly there. It's looking and smelling really good, but I just think it needs a little bit longer. So I'm gonna pop it back in for another 10 minutes. So I have no idea if this is the right way to do this or not, um, but the pumpkin seeds are finished cooking and I have to dry them. I've literally just put them into a tea towel and I'm kind of like scrunching it. And I can feel like the tea towel is so soaking up the water. So hopefully it's working all right. Yeah. So I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I'm going to end up finding pumpkin seeds all around my kitchen for the next like three years. Um, but hopefully it's going to be worth it. We're on to the next step now. We are spreading them out nice and even. So I've got some chilli salt. I've got some really bad focusing. I've got some uh, chilli powder. So we're going to sprinkle. Oh wait, no, I need oil. I need oil first. Okay, now we can put the chilli salt on. And uh, just a sprinkling of chilli powder. Oh, I just, just realised that's like all my hard work, getting them in one layer. Just one down the pan. It's okay. So that took 40 minutes of roasting for the pumpkin. I'm now going to put the pumpkin seeds in. According to the recipe that I have for those, it says 25 minutes, but I think, again, I'm just going to check on them every 10 minutes. It's getting dark so early in the UK now, now that it's October. So I've had to put the lights on again. And apparently it is these lights that we've got in that gives the really <laughs> crappy lighting. When it's natural daylight, it's like, oh yes, I glow. But with the unnatural lighting, it's not so nice. Um, so <laughs> apologies again for the bad lighting. I promise I am going to get proper lights and sort it out. Um, but the buzzer has gone off for the pumpkin seeds. They smell so good from here. Um, so I'm really excited to get them out of the oven. I'm going to move the camera. Ooh. And are we going to, if oven gloves would be helpful. We're going to get them out of the oven. Oh, 
Oh, they look beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right, let me try and get this closer without like completely messing everything up. And that was what I was trying not to do. Okay, so before I broke everything, this is what I was trying to show you. You still can't really see from here. I might have to like literally lift my tripod up. Um, the ones in the bottom right hand corner have not cooked as thoroughly as the other ones, but you know what? I'm sure that's fine. These smell really good, but they are really hot at the moment. So I'm gonna wait for them to cool for a minute. Um, and then we'll do a little taste test. Okay, so I have got a fork. I'm gonna do a taste test on the roasted pumpkin first and then the roasted pumpkin seeds, which I will not be using a fork for. I would be very impressed if anyone could pick, to pick up a roasted pumpkin seed with a fork. Um, don't try it. Um, don't try this at home, kids. Um, let's go. Let's try it. This is the awkward moment where it turns out that actually it's not cooked at all properly. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the rosemary was a good shout. Yeah, that's really nice. So if you don't talk with your mouth full, that is rude. It's the rosemary that makes it, not gonna lie. Like, if you're thinking of making roasted pumpkin, um, add rosemary because it's so good. Okay, so I've got a couple of the pumpkin seeds. It's kind of difficult to see, but I have. Um, let's try them. Mm. Oh, oh, it's like chili popcorn. It tastes like chili popcorn. Oh, that's really good. Oh, it's so crunchy. Oh, yes. I'm so happy. After yesterday's disaster with the pumpkin soup, I am so happy that the roasted pumpkin and the pumpkin seeds have turned out so well. I did have a portion of the pumpkin soup with my lunch and actually, like I said, with some crusty bread um, with some butter on it, really delicious. Um, the, like The kind of contrast of the really smooth soup with the kind of crunchiness of the crust of the bread, it works really well. Um, I just... I will remember the salt next time and yet again try not to knock my tripod over as I do really weird dance moves. I'm kind of really impressed with the amount of food that I got from one pumpkin. Like, I got four portions of soup, like I said, about three side portions of roasted pumpkin. That's probably about, about five snack sized portions of pumpkin seeds. Um, and that's a lot of food to get out of one vegetable and to think that like every year tons of people are like throwing away their pumpkins without utilizing all of the food and and the pumpkin that I got that wasn't even a big pumpkin there were much bigger pumpkins but I was like no Sophie like you are one person <laughs> you do not need that much pumpkin and I was right because I would have been here all day <laughs> still an actual finale with me in the center of the camera ooh, ooh, ooh. um so I think overall, I would say yes, absolutely, use up your pumpkin. There are so many delicious things you can make with pumpkins. There are like things that I didn't even try, I didn't even consider trying. Next year, I might try making pumpkin pie. I also saw a recipe for caramelized pumpkin seeds, which I'm like, I like caramelized anything. So, <laughs> but I thought that might be one step too far considering this is the first time that I've made pumpkin seeds. And also now that I've made chili pumpkin seeds, I think I always want chili pumpkin seeds because they're so good so good but yes i nearly broke my camera hooray that wouldn't be very zero waste would it just breaking my camera i hope you like this kind of haphazard all over the place video um as you can tell it did not go to plan because i had only planned to make the soup and I had not planned the soup to go not quite to plan. If you did like the video, don't forget to subscribe to see more of my beautiful face. Subscribe. So that's all from me today and this week. Um, I will see you all after the Halloween holidays. Also like comment below to tell me what you're doing for Halloween. Um, I'm literally just sitting at home with my boyfriend and we're gonna watch The Purge uh, because he's on a 12 8 shift at work. Um, so that's our Halloween. Let me know what you're doing. Enjoy your wonderful, beautiful Halloween and I will see you next week. Bye guys.